Well, it's been about a month that I've owned a Generation 2 smoker by Old Country Barbecue Pits, and it's about time for a biscuit test. So what exactly is a biscuit test? 30 minutes, we got about 250, about 250 there too. Let's turn them around. Well, in short, it's an easy way to identify the hot spots on your smoker. You lay some raw biscuits on your smoker, give it 30 minutes, then turn them around. The biscuits that are more cooked are your hot spots, and we're doing it here on Aluna Secuing. Welcome back my good people. Well, I know you had been waiting for it and it's finally here. The biscuit test for the Generation 2 Offset Smoker by Old Country Barbecue Pits. So it's been about a month and I've been learning my way around the smoker. My impressions of the smoker have been great so far, but they are a few issues I want to address. Like for instance, this drain valve. I have plans to put an inch and a quarter ball valve with a curve extension pipe to hang a bucket to catch the drip, but that's going to be for another video at a later time. Let's get back to what we're doing today and that's to identify the hot spots of this smoker. And so to get the smoker to temperature, we start off with a few splits of mesquite to get a cold bed going. Now as we all know, there are a few ways to run your offset smoker. In today's test, we'll be keeping the firebox door slightly open and the vent shutter door open as well. The smokestack damper will also be completely open. We are looking for a temperature of about 300 or so. We'll wait for both sides of the smoker to even out, then we'll begin our biscuit test. Hotter on this other end, but we're gonna wait till um, you know the pit stabilizes. We are full throttle open here. Uh, the smoke pretty much is almost clearing out. We got a little bit of blue smoke in there, but uh, not too bad. So we're just gonna wait till the um, temps pretty much stabilize and, and try to get as even as we can on each end. Hey okay, guys, so with the door slightly opened, <clears throat> we got 300 on the first thermometer, about 300. And we got 330 maybe, 330 on here. So 15 minutes later, we are at about 350 degrees on the left side and 345 degrees on the right side. That's close enough to start our test. Once again, we had the smokestack fully open on top and looking at the firebox, we closed the door, but we do have the vent shutter door fully open. So let's start spreading out our biscuits. For the test, we will be doing five rows of four biscuits each on the lower grate and five rows of two biscuits each on the higher grate. That's a total of 20 biscuits on the bottom and 10 biscuits on top. Hopefully this will give us a good indication of how this smoker handles the heat airflow. Looking at my watch, it's 2.43 p.m right now we'll give it 30 minutes for the biscuits to cook so we'll be checking it at 3 13 p.m at 20 minutes in the temps drop so we'll be adding another small split to the fire mm. 10 minutes later and we check our watch and it's about that time 30 minutes and we got about 250, about 250 there too. Let's turn them around. Okay guys, so here it is. Here's the test uh, and you'll see part of this kind of will reveal some of the airflow when you're straight up open full throttle. So you notice that one in the end over there, no heat. That could have been because my fire was concentrated, you know, a little bit on this side. But, so you can see those biscuits are pretty much burnt. These aren't too bad. So we know that the hot zone probably ends at about right here. But something interesting that I want to show you guys real quick. These look okay, you know, they're not. This is perfect. All this area right here is perfect. Probably from right here on perfect to cook. From right here on. I'm going to show you something though. You see they, these aren't uh, burnt at all, but look at these. So we know that the air is coming from here straight up and continues on because look how cooked these are. Starts coming down here because you'll see the edges there that are cooked and then it drops down here. So the perfect zone would probably be straight up in the middle right here. Get, get that air convection straight up on top of your brisket 
and back down. So for those of you that like to run your smoker wide open on both ends, just know that this will extend the hot zone further up on your smoker. Now, if you were to use a damper on your smokestack, this will create some back pressure inside the main chamber. You can also use the firebox door and vent shutter to contain some heat. That is, of course, after you have a fire running clean and clear blue smoke. I believe your hot zone will move closer to the firebox if you decide to use the damper on the smokestack due to that back pressure. The top airflow should also move closer to the right giving you more cooking space to possibly fit another rack of ribs or even a brisket on the smoker. So here's a quick explanation. An open smokestack and firebox door will give you a wider hot zone because the airflow is entering and exiting freely. Compared to a dampened smokestack and firebox door vent, which gives you a smaller hot zone due to back pressure being created. So let us know what you guys think. Should we run a second biscuit test using this method? Let us know in the comments. As always, it's been fun hanging out with you guys. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? It's free. I appreciate all the support. Remember to take care of yourself and each other. We'll see you again soon.